Hi, I'm Bo Kramer and welcome to Beneath the Bubbles. I've been in this bath for like two and a bit weeks, now three weeks. Jeez, and the bubbles aren't going down. You tip fell. It's gonna be cold there, but you get that on the big jobs. Anyways, now what have we done? We've got our inspiration, we've planned it, we've shot the uh, photos. Now we need to go and edit them. So, for those who are playing at home, we because this segment is too short for an edit in, we've actually edited the photo other uh, photos up and created a tutorial on Lost Art Magic. Whichever way Lost Art Magic is, it's the internet, so it's all about. But go there, look at the photos, and learn the tutorial on how to put yourself inside a glass. Now that you've done that, I'll wait and you can come back. But I'll wait before I teach you anything else. Like and share. Relax. Alright? You ever gonna watch the tutorial? Perfect. Snap a bit of Minecraft in there too, I hope. Now, you're back and you've got your photo saved to your, your phone. And if you saw in the tutorial, you can either go to Lightroom and edit it up there yourself, or if you just saved it to your computer and put it on your old handy cellular device, obviously an iPhone 3? I don't know, one of the iPhones. We're going to edit it up now in Photoshop Express, which is a cool editing program. So now we have our photos just in here, looking beautiful, well, almost beautiful. They're not really quite uh, got the look to them yet, but they're edited up. So we open up Photoshop Express and just click and open your photo here. And now this is where you can add like certain filters and change the contrast and all that kind of stuff. But firstly, you can uh, have your own little looks down here, so your own presets. Uh, and just go through here and just go through like basic and have a look at all the different filters that you have here. Um, and you just go through and select which ones you think suits your picture best. And just a quick run through of some things that they have. They have like obviously black and white, if you want to change them to black and white, if you like that kind of look, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, well, there's your old sepia to be like, you know, go western. Please. Otherwise, another cool little one is pop color. So that'll choose a color that you uh, pops and stands out. So like you can choose reds and you know, you can make that adjust to suit. So whether the red pops more than any other color, you can have some other colors in. Personally, I like this charm three. Uh, it looks quite good. Makes my like reds and browns and that kind of stuff pop a little bit more. But I'm still not quite happy with it. So you can just hear how much you want the reds and browns to come out. I'm still not quite happy with it. I still need some things to adjust it. So this is where you'll go through and play yourself. Uh, and you can see here you can have light, light reflecting, which kind of looks kind of cool there. The light reflecting off the edge of the glass. I don't think it suits this picture, but up to you. Um, so play around with those lights. We don't need to crop it because it's already been cropped in Photoshop before, which is great. Um, and here, this is where you can change the contrast and stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, so you wanna click full, and that's gonna change the whole image. We'll go to the others in just a second. But you can see here, you can change it to full, um, and that's gonna adjust the whole image. So here we can change the contrast up. Um, and this is where you're gonna go through and play it with it yourself and see what suits. So I'm just gonna take away some of the shadows, uh, you know, make the whites like less white and uh, you know, just play around with it yourself and see what looks good. This is where we get fun and have you can change it to the subject or the background. So if we hit subject, you can uh, change the subject to blurriness or using any of the other things like contrast and brightness and things like that. You can change either the subject or the background, um, which is kind of cool. Now, if you want to change that, obviously the background, you can see there a bit of the fingers not in it. So we want to change that out. So obviously you can see we take, the, like I was saying before, the saturation out whole background you can see here the finger is saying it's the foreground which if you don't want that to be thing added go selection tools add and then you're just going to color in over that object that you want added to the background um, and just go through and do that if you want that added to your own image otherwise if you don't 
don't worry about any of this. This is just cool in case you want something in the background to pop a little bit more or you to pop a little bit more, you know, things like that uh, to stand out in the rest of the image. This is where you're gonna go through another play, but that's just a quick, very, very quick uh, tutorial on the uh, full subject and background type things. But I think that's pretty good. You can see here again, we flick it through the befores and afters. I think that's ready to go. Let's export it out, save to camera roll, and then go back to the bath. You. Oh, 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 oh. Now that's a good looking image. Now that's ready for posting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't post it just yet. We're gonna teach you how to get the best. We're gonna teach you how to get the best out of your post and the best time to post for you and you'll learn how to post properly. Because a lot of people don't know how to do that. We're gonna learn that next week. Bye. Well, Ben will put some hot water in here. It'll take like a week to fill up because it's quite slow. See you next week. <laughs>